Splendor of Tranquil Waters is the new 5-star sword which will be featured in the version 4.2 weapon banner, and this video will cover everything you need to know about this weapon so that you can decide whether to pull for this weapon or not. So the base attack of this weapon is lower than the usual 608 base attack you get from a 5-star weapon, and usually the weapons having comparatively lower base attack is made for characters whose damage doesn't scale with attack. In this case, we are talking about Furina, whose damage increases based on her max HP, and since this weapon is her signature weapon, it makes sense that this weapon has lower base attack, but it makes up for it by having insanely high crit damage of 88.2% as a substat, and this will significantly increase the overall crit damage numbers for the character equipping this weapon, which will be a massive boost to their damage output. Therefore the main stats of this weapon are good, but the things get trickier when it comes to its passive. Basically, when the wielder's HP increases or decreases, then their elemental skill damage gets increased by 8% which can stack up to 3 times. And while the HP of other party members increases or decreases, then the equipping character's max HP will be increased by 14% which can stack up to 2 times. So at maximum number of stacks, the wielder's elemental skill damage will be increased by 24% and their max HP will be increased by 28%. Now, these are amazing buffs for Furina, as she deals a lot of damage from her elemental skill, and both her damage as well as heal scales of her max HP. So 24% increase in elemental skill damage, paired with 28% increase in max HP, are just incredible. But apart from her, there are only few sword users who can increase as well as decrease their HP. And as of now, only Furina can increase or decrease other party members' HP. So only she can fully activate this weapon's passive, which makes it a niche weapon for Furina. But suppose if you give this weapon to any other character while having Furina in the same party, then she will help the equipping character in fully activating this weapon's passive with the help of her ability of increasing or decreasing the whole party's HP. So this weapon can be used on other characters as well, as long as you have Furina in the party. However, this approach will limit team comps, as one spot will be always reserved for Furina, so you have to keep that in mind as well. So to conclude, this weapon is absolutely amazing on Furina and is definitely worth wishing for her. And since this weapon has high crit damage of 88.2%, it can be used on other sword users as well, regardless of its passive. But the real problem of wishing for this weapon is that it'll featured alongside Baiju's signature weapon, which only works well with Baiju. So if you get unlucky and got this weapon instead, then it'll be a complete waste of your intertwined fates, unless you have Baiju. And even if the 4 stars on this weapon banner are good, except the bell, you should keep in mind the potential risk of this banner if you decide to pull for Furina's signature weapon. Now if you still have any doubts then you can mention it in the comments and I'll help you out. That's it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next video, see ya!